Hey everybody, I'm Mark and you're watching the Garage Guy 879 channel. Uh, this is Saturday evening, June 8th, 2024. And uh, this video is uh, by the title, you already know, Taurus 942 Ultralight, uh, back from the factory. Uh, right here, uh, this box came in, FedEx, and right here is the uh, revolver itself. Of course it is safe as you can see I've already had it opened I've already cleaned this I've lubed it and I have the uh, steelwork snap caps in here eight rounds of them right there all right uh, back uh, let's see I got this revolver oh about the first week of April ordered it from buds online and uh, anyhow, I uploaded the video back on April 14th, uh, Taurus 942 UL, uh, back to the factory. It had some problems. And in that initial video, the uh, spent shell casings would not eject from the cylinder. And, of course, the uh, hammer trigger wouldn't half work. I uh, figured the cylinder was out of time, so I went ahead, I called Taurus, they emailed me the uh, FedEx shipping label, I printed it out, took it to my FFL, and uh, they sent it off, but I didn't send it off back in April, uh, had a lot of things going on here around home, uh, some family matters, that kind of thing. And I didn't send this off until about May 24th, end of May. And I just got it back this past Thursday, June 6th. So pretty good turnaround time. Okay, right here's the paper describing uh, warranty repair, describing what happened. Uh, first of all, firing pin replaced. Uh, firing pin spring replaced they replaced the entire cylinder i figured they might have put it on one of their machines and honed out the chambers you know in the cylinder but uh, they just replaced the whole thing which probably took a lot less time and the hammer spring replaced okay uh ultralight model this has got the aluminum frame but the barrel is steel the cylinder steel, trigger steel, hammer steel. One of the cylinder, yeah, that's steel as well, but the rest of it, well, like I said, barrel steel. Well, hell. That part of the frame steel. Let's turn around here. That's not. That's not. Maybe that's the barrel underneath this part of the frame that's causing that to hold right there. Or stick. I don't know. Anyway, uh, we'll go ahead. Like I said, I've got eight snap caps in here. Steel works. And uh, we're, we'll go ahead and do a trigger pull right here. Like I said a second ago, I've already cleaned and lubed this. Uh, it said here at the factory they fired 16 rounds of federal 40 grain auto match ammo 22LR. So let's go ahead right here and try out the trigger. We'll do four pulls in single action and four pulls in double action. A little stiff, but yeah, it's going to be stiff. Everything's pretty well brand new. Cylinder turns all right. Okay. Now let's try this in a double action. See what we got. There's that click. One more. Yeah. Very stiff, but... Uh, the trigger and hammer action, if it works properly, should loosen up nicely as I get more rounds down the pipe. 
um, uh, 942 Taurus, the one with the matted stainless finish. We've seen it here on my channel several times, and uh, that trigger and hammer action has smoothed out to be butter. I mean, it's nice. Hopefully, I'll have the same good luck with this. But now let's try the ejection. See what we got. Okay, that popped out. Yeah, that's a little stiff, but everything was new, you know, new cylinder. I'm uh, guessing the uh, rod right here, the plunger, it, it come with cylinder. I don't guess they took the old plunger off the old cylinder and put it on here. It's probably all new plunger included. Uh, yeah. Let's see we get outside here and uh, take first shots with it. See how she runs. All right, my friends. Here we are outside behind the house and as always back here, I'm shooting into a dirt embankment, embankment at a cardboard target. So safety Nazis lay off. All right, there's no chance to ricochet. Anyway, like I said earlier in the video, the people at Taurus use the Federal Auto Match 40 grain ammo, fired 16 rounds through it before they sent it back. So I've got eight rounds already loaded right here. So what do you say? We see if she works. Let's see if we can get through this first cylinder without any problem. All right, let's try a little single action. All right. Uh-oh. Try it again. Cylinder's locked up. Try double. Won't come back no farther. Damn it. <sighs> what, two shots? Now the cylinder opens. Let's shut it. While keeping it aimed. In a safe direction. Try double. Nope, won't go back no farther than that. Won't go back. That is really disheartening. Almost caught. Yeah. I don't know. I done lost count of how many rounds some I fired, some I haven't. Let's see, here was one I hadn't. Two. I'm gonna go ahead and eject these. Let's see if the ejection works. Two fell out. That one hadn't been fired. That one hadn't been fired. What was that? Doesn't want to come out. Get the old trusty mallet. Doesn't want to come out. Damn. 
try it one more time here. Oh boy. Tell you what, I'm going to have to cut the camera off before I can concentrate on this safely. Looks like the 942 Ultralights turned out to be a big flop after returning from the factory. Oh well, sometimes you gamble, you either win or you lose. Well, here we are back inside the carport on the red toolbox under the bright light, and I am seriously disappointed. I finally got hit, got a decent hit with it uh, with the uh, rubber mallet, and it finally ejected the shell casings. I don't know what else to say about it. I mean, you people saw it for yourselves at the uh, Come back from the factory, and Taurus said they fired 16 rounds of auto match through it, but they didn't say if they fired it successfully or not. Good Lord. Well, you know, I've had uh, a problem, well, two problems with Taurus firearms in the past. Back in 2012, uh, or might have been 2013, I had the 86, uh, 605 poly protector. I sent it back, and when it come back, it worked, but the hammer and the trigger action on it was horrible, so I let it go. Now, last year, I had the 942M, the uh, 22 Magnum, with the matted black finish. I sent it back to Taurus, got it back in two weeks, and boom, that thing was running like a Swiss watch. And since I already had this one right here, I was made a good offer on the black one, so I let it go. And the fellow that has it, it's still running great. Uh, so, you know, I could sit here and complain about Taurus all day long, but I have no reason to complain about them overall. But I do have good reason to complain about this product right here. Uh... Here's the, which one's this? Oh yeah, the 856 runs great, not a bit of problem. The uh, 942M, the 22 Magnum, runs great, not a bit of problem. The 942, 22LR, runs great, not a bit of problem. So I can't really sit here and bash Taurus. And I can't bash their customer service. I had this thing back in what, uh, two weeks, something like that, but it just doesn't work. Now, I'm not going to do with this what I did with that Killtech P17 and get rid of it. I'm going to hold on till I can find a good gunsmith locally around here and let him have a crack at it and see what he can do. If it works, then that's great. If it don't, well, I guess this will be a paperweight or a door stock. It's hard to tell. But yeah, Taurus 942 Ultralight, back from the factory, still doesn't work. All right, I'll catch you good people later.